Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments, and today I'm taking a look at a suite of innovative libraries from Slate and Ash, Auras, Cycles and Landforms. If you've never heard of Slate and Ash instruments before, then you're in for a treat, as these libraries sound as unique as they look. With modulating soundscapes, generative sequences and mutated orchestral textures, this is truly inspiring stuff. This collection is cinematic in nature, although it suits many different genres of music from hybrid electronica to ambient, all the way through to dark trip-hop. The three libraries run within Contact Player and are all NKS compatible, making use of both native instruments hardware and complete control presets tagging. With unique interfaces, I'm here to guide you through the many presets and help to unpick the programming and show how to engineer new textures, even using your own samples in the process. So let's get started. First up, Auras, Slate and Ash's exploration into textual movement. These are the kind of sounds you'll want to use when standard static pads just won't cut it. The library is split into two distinct engines, auras and colours. With auras you use hardware controllers to add life to up to four layers of sound, with MIDI controllers automatically assigned to a multitude of playback parameters within the over 60 presets. The other engine, Colors, is a playback engine with similar credentials, but much more control. Over 100 patches are ripe for editing, with a synth-style modulation matrix and arpeggiator. Although these collections of patches are very easy to pick up and play, it's worth pointing out a few standout features. NPE is fully supported for hardware that outputs MIDI polyphonic expression, such as the Rolly Seaboard. This means that every note you play can have its own defined playback parameters beyond simple note on and off. With Auras, you can learn more about the sampled sounds of each preset by clicking this icon. Adjust and link the volume, reverb, attack and release levels. You can assign MIDI by clicking here, or right click to learn any controller in the normal way. With colours you get access to the individual layer sounds of auras with full control over all parameters. These include amplitude and filter ADSR controls and two pages of global controls. Including per note pitch drift.
page two has five different convolution reverbs from a small space to a huge black hole type. Choose between insert or send modes for serial or parallel processing. In this modulation matrix, you can assign these top parameters to either MIDI input or two onboard LFOs, volume, filters, saturation, bit crush, harmonize, detune, reverb, and delay. Of course, if you use Native Instruments NKS hardware, you'll find automatic assignments. You can even randomize the assignments just here. This bottom section is for setting up the arpeggiator, adding subtle or not so subtle movement and repetitions. Next up, Cycles. This is the Slater Nash take on loops and granular synthesis, and there's lots to explore within the esoteric interface. Similar to Auras, the top level patches can be categorized into two distinct parts, loops and grain presets. Loop presets slice up the pre-recorded loops and replay them in a variety of ways. Grain presets go further, using granular particles of the sound to create textures and rhythms. Here's a taste of each. Note the NKS presets with the MW suffix. These have sound shaping parameters already mapped to your mod wheel. With such a wealth of control on offer, it's well worth taking a look at the explanatory website and tutorial videos from Slater Nash to learn all the controls, as the level of user customization here is on another planet. However, these are my favorite options. The loops from each category are mapped across the keyboard here. With the root key adjustable just here.
Use the playhead controls to switch the slicing mode on and mix up the loop slices. You can slice into longer or shorter sections just here. And even reverse the playback. The amp, filter and effects panel here shapes the sound of the slices. Expand the possibilities by clicking on a parameter name for full modulation options for that parameter. For real tweaker heads you can also expand the blue or red bars here for global parameters, further processing and spatial effects. Again with each having full modulation. Hit the expand button here to access different playback modes, including spreading one loop across the whole keyboard. Or assigning a key to each slice. To go really deep, engage sequencer mode where non-linear playback is possible either random or with preset patterns. If all these editing options seem a bit too complex, you can take your original preset sounds and apply global state preset via this L button. A quick look at the granular options turning loops into pads and textures. There are lots of presets for this or you can switch into granular mode by clicking here. Choose a specific section of grains or random parameters here. With lots of other interesting options for grain density, envelope, size, volume, tuning and scales. Another option for movement are the XY pads for grains, window, color and space, where you can assign MIDI, program LFO movement or draw your own boxes. One last thing to mention, you can drag in your own samples to a special user sources patch, up to 25 loops or one shots, then manipulate them with endless experimentation. Go and have a play. The final library here is Landforms. This is a huge 68 gigabyte orchestral sample library like you've never heard before. Part sampler, part synth with unique evolving articulations, recorded with multiple mic positions, then mutated through an engine similar to auras and cycles. With over 400 preset patches, you'll find strings, woods, brass, and otherworldly processed sounds. Some of these are vanilla articulations with no further processing whilst others veer more into sound design territory using the dual layers. 
Take the time to let the samples play out to hear the full scope of the movement, playing with the performance envelope, perspective and expression. to the processing with the blue and red fold-out menus. Within the blue side you've got Auto Harmony with Scale Type and Tape Processing. There's also options for arpeggio and a brilliantly fun randomization section for skewing the sounds. Master effects live in the red side with filtering, lo-fi, compression, delay and reverb. Click into each for the full options. The perspective page is my favourite for creating textual evolutions. 
the player and mic positions of each articulation can be moved around, and then automation applied to keep things going. There are even preset shapes. An extremely cool thing I want to highlight is that you can make a completely bespoke mix of instruments and articulations right within this perspective page. Just click on the plus icons and then click here to change the source to a completely different sound if you like. In this way, it's possible to load many different types of instruments and articulations simultaneously and blend between them. Each of the seven perspectives also has its own tuning, sample start, tone, pitch bend and drift settings, some with randomization too. Like cycles, you can also drag and drop your own samples into the perspective sound slots, then edit to taste. The effect view just here inserts the chain of three effects, all with automation possibilities. Choose along the bottom and click open for automation options. I had a lot of fun with these instruments and I've only really scratched the surface of what they're capable of. From synth soundscapes to orchestral pulses and so much more, there's enough to keep you exploring for months. Do check out the full range from Slate and Ash at the NKS shop and thanks for watching.